have four brothers. There's four of us. And two of my, three of us are priests. And two, my two older brothers were sent to Rome to study to be priests. I was sent to Philadelphia. What does that tell you about my education? What they thought of it. Anyway, so when we got to visit my brothers, um, which were great times, of course you go to the Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul, which is the most awesome of churches. But what is even more great is that that church was built late 1400s, early 1500s, somewhere around there. And they knew it was on the hill, kind of, the burial ground of a lot of early Christians, those who had died for their faith. They knew that there was burial grounds underneath the church somewhere. They also knew that St. Peter was buried around there, where they thought he was. Tradition held that he was. But in the 1950s and 1960s, they began to dig under the church to strengthen this kind of build up the foundation. It's a very heavy church, and the church was sinking a little bit, so they needed to strengthen the foundation. So they started going underneath, and what they found was the tomb of St. Peter. And it was marked Peter, and it was so obvious, and they found every bone but one of the feet bones because he was nailed upside down, and they would have just pulled him off the cross. They found Peter. They found his tomb. And where did they find it? If you drop a line from where the altar is, straight down, his tomb is directly beneath the altar of St. Peter's, a church they built 500 years before they actually found his tomb. Tell me that this church somehow has been created and ordained by God. There is no other explanation for anything else. How else has this church upheld the storms that we have created ourselves and the storms that the world has given to us, and yet it still stands? How else? Jesus hands the keys to the kingdom to a sinner. And Paul, even greater than that, And yet it still stands. Why? Because Jesus Christ is the center and he hands the keys to Peter and Paul. And yes, brothers and sisters, to you and to me, this foundation stands on, yes, us. And it will continue. And we are blessed to be a part of it right here at Seven Sorrows in Middletown. We don't have to be in Rome to be at the foundation. We are part of it because we are joined to Peter in this Roman Catholic Church. And how great it is that we are together and that we join with him so that just like Peter and just like the church, the gates of the netherworld will never destroy us.